Welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips video. So you want to become a surgical tech. I've got 10 things to tell you about the profession. Five good, five not so great. All right, so I'm gonna start us off with five bad things that I wouldn't necessarily call them horrible things, but they're things that you should consider if you're thinking about coming into this position. Number one, you can be working some long hours. You're gonna be taking call. If you're working in a hospital, you're gonna be taking call. There is the option to give up your call to other you know, friends and employees that work there, but that's not a guarantee. So it can be long hours and it can be a lot of call that you may have to take. Number two, physically, you're gonna be standing for a long time. You're doing surgery on a patient. You're gonna be standing right across from the surgeon or right next to that surgeon, and you're there with them for the entire case. You may get a break for lunch, maybe a morning break, but that's not always a guarantee. You're gonna be in that surgery, usually from start to finish. Surgeries can vary. They can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 16 hours. In, in some rare cases, it can be that long, but it can happen. So it's something you gotta think about. Number three, you can be a little bit of heavy lifting. Some of the instrument trays that you have to pick up, I mean, they can be 20, 25, almost 30 pounds sometimes, especially some of this orthopedic stuff. I mean, they have heavy duty, like construction grade machinery that they're using on these bones. And a lot of that stuff can be pretty heavy. So if you have a hard time picking up heavy objects, might be something to think about. Number four, you are going to be exposed to pathogens, bugs, viruses, diseases, cancer, all sorts of stuff that you will see in the OR. If any of that stuff freaks you out, blood especially, if blood freaks you out, I mean, I feel like that's an obvious thing, but if any of that stuff freaks you out, it's, it's not the right job for you. Now the fifth negative is kind of a positive and a negative. Working with surgeons. It varies. It varies. And I'll probably make a whole nother separate video about this. You can have the greatest surgeon in the world. He's totally laid back, you know, is a, is a good friend in the OR, and it's, it's great to work with. And you can have other surgeons that may be tough to work with. I'll put it simply, very tough to work with. And it's hard to please them. It's, it's a plus or minus. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to our positives. It's great pay. I mean, it's 18 months of schooling for a certification, two years for you know, an associates of applied sciences if you want to go that route. There's different ways to go through the schooling. Mine was 18 months and it's great, great pay. I will break down the pay specifically in another video that I make, but I gotta say when I graduated and I first was hired onto the hospital, I was surprised and delighted with how much I made. Number two, awesome, awesome tools and instruments to work with. And I'm talking about years and years and years of experience in the surgical field and all of these different tools and instruments were made specifically for certain things and certain places to use on the body. You get to work with some cool, cool tech, including robots. I mean, how cool is that? Who wouldn't want to work with a robot? Third positive for me is the fact that you get to work in a temperature controlled environment. I'm not working out in the elements. I'm not sweating my butt off outside in the heat of summer or freezing my butt off in the cold of winter. This is a temperature controlled environment. It's the same temperature and the same humidity every single day. And if it's not, then there's something wrong and you won't be doing surgery in that, in that OR. 
the fourth positive for me is the fact that you're part of a team. You're part of a family. You're like, you're like the front line of holy soldiers, knights going into battle and helping, helping all of these people that are sick, are diseased, and you are there. You are there with multiple people alongside you helping others. Number five, this coincides with number four. You are physically helping someone, someone that's sick and diseased, someone that may be dying of heart failure, and you're there to save their life. Someone that may have a hernia and they're in tons of pain, you're there to help them. It's an amazing feeling to walk away every day knowing that you've impacted somebody's life. That was my top 10 list of things to think about if you're wondering if you should get into this field of surgical technology. For me personally, it's an amazing, rewarding experience. And the fact that I get paid to do what I love, paid to help people every day, it's an amazing feeling to walk away from at the end of the day.